Hey guys, Rockets here, back with another video of five games with commentary. Today we are in Master League with GDI and we're going to be playing the Reb Solomon deck. For those that don't know, Reb is... I don't know if he still plays actually, but he popularized this deck. He was a, he was a top player in like the top 10, top 20, top 50, something like that. And he used to love playing this deck, so I thought I'd give it a go. It's a very low cost, fast pace deck. And the idea is you run a single harvester, obviously, uh, but the units are so cheap that you, you often easily have enough money for iron cannon when you want to use it. So iron cannon is a very crucial part of this deck. And I have been practicing with it a little bit. Uh, I, I do enjoy the, the pace of it. Um, I don't think it's something I'll use long term. But anyway, try it out yourself and let's see how we get on uh, in this video. A lot of my units in the deck I do use in my main deck, so they're level 13. However, my uh, jump jets and dogs are level 11, so they may be under leveled in certain circumstances. So what we do here is we open dogs, go straight to the pad to try and charge it. Right, he has got level 13 militants, but obviously our, our dogs will uh, sort those out. Looks like he wants to stall, I think. Anyway. Okay, this is good. We're getting hits on his uh, uh, missiles. Anyway, what, what I forgot to mention earlier is this deck is very strong on the first missile. And the reason for that being is we have both militants and uh, uh, dogs in this deck. So it makes it fairly easy to win first missile. Well, I mean, I say easy, but it gives you a good chance to win first missile, which we've done. Okay, and now we can get pit bulls out here. Uh, gonna send our rifleman over to his militants. Basically, everything's gonna get mowed down by that chem buggy, so try and... Uh, Get some use out of the units before they die. Keep our pit bulls together so they get two on ones. Actually, going to build another pit bull to go up there. I forgot about the chem buggy. Okay, we're going to open up our air tower here, try and get some presence over there. And we are going to iron cannon over there, move our pit bull back. And I think that's game. Yeah, so um, as I said, it's quite fast paced. So I, I try and commentate when I can, but sometimes I just get caught up in the game. So anyway, yeah, that was a challenge battle. So for whatever reason, I'll just check it out. Uh, I think he was a lot higher than me. Uh, yeah, I mean, level level wise is uh, almost the same. I probably have more levels than him, to be honest. But yeah, he was higher up. Uh, okay, so first game. That's the wrong thing. Okay, so I don't know. We're going to step off it. I was going to say, I don't know if he was trying to just go straight for the harvester. It looks like he's trying to... Uh, well, just attack me, I guess. So we're going to obviously open barracks and go for riflemen. 
Uh, that's fine. His flame is only level 10. So ordinarily I wouldn't do this, but uh, we got plus three on his flamers, so we are just going to smash him. Okay, looks like he's going for the harvester now. No, he's not. Anyway, we've opened drones here. This is what we'd ordinarily do when we see flamers. Uh, go for the drones here. Uh, yeah, you can quite easily open up all three of your buildings on the first missile. We are going to throw away some units here. Right, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to ignore the fact that I have a level advantage on most of his units here, but unfortunately there's not much I can do about that. Okay, so he's got a cat ship. I don't really know why. I'm happy to let his flamers die there. Um, we're going to go for Pitbull here for the cat ship. We could go for Talon, but Pitbull's pretty good against Cat's gunship because it can always move out of the way of the cloud as well. Okay, we're just going to get on all three pads here. No need for the iron cannon that time. Uh, obviously I outleveled him there, but he was going double harvester, so it looks like he had tech units, or was building up to have tech units. But because this deck is played so fast, he didn't really have time to get them out. Okay, so that's two. Same guy again, unfortunately. But not much I can do about that. This time, though, I mean, I don't really need to. But I know he opened a missile, so this time I am going to uh, open Rifleman. Okay, right. So he's doing something different here. We're just going to go Harvester. He's going straight for my base. Uh, we're just going to keep charging the missile. I have to wait for uh, Pitbull. I mean, this is fine. We are going to take a beating here, but once we get uh, once we get Pitbull open, we'll be fine. Okay, and I uh, don't think you have a harvester. This is kind of his, you know, desperation attempt because he knows I beat him last time. I mean, you can't can't fault a guy for trying. He shouldn't have enough for a harvester. No. Okay, I think we're just going to crush his base now. Alright, we we'll use some jump jets because obviously they're not weak to missiles. Just gonna save up for iron cannon now in case we need it, but I don't think we will. Okay, there we go. Mission accomplished. So that is three. Okay, dogs to the pads. Okay, he's got the same idea, which is good. That's fine. Should imagine he'll go pit bull next. I mean, that's what we're going to do. 
try and uh, get some vision on his spawn point there so I can see what's going on. He, this guy might be playing the same deck as me in all honesty. But, so we get some militants out for the jump jets. One thing I do hate about jump jets is uh, is that they are very, very mobile. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's annoying to try and pin them down, is what I mean. Okay, good. Mm -mm. I mean, so far he's just played all the units that are in my deck, so he might be also playing this deck. Right, so riflemen to the jump jets, pit bulls to the uh, talons. Okay, we're gonna build some drones here. We're gonna open our air tower. Okay, I didn't mean to go into that talon there. Okay, we might need to iron cannon here. Okay, we got there. I think he was playing the same deck as me. So that's four. I think, yeah, that's four. So, played four games so far, won four of them. Okay, so we're going to run to this pad here just so we start charging it straight away rather than go to the middle pad. And from here we can see his spawn point. He's got militants. So, we'll build more dogs. Okay, we're going to back off here. Don't want to get hit uh, by those missiles. Okay, now we're going to open... Oh, this is a bit dodgy. Okay, we need a pit bull for the bikes. No, okay, All right, this is bad. Right, got unlucky there. So, we need jump jets for the scorpion. Okay, I'm having to micro pretty hard. He's protecting his scorpion quite well. Okay, right, we're just gonna get rid of that. Say no thank you to that artillery. Right, we do want to try and get on as many pads as we can, which is where jump jets come in handy because they can go over units. Okay, 
Okay, just got there. We are going to have to save money for uh, Iron Cannon because he's got uh, artillery again. So as soon as that fires, we can Iron Cannon it. Shit, I was hoping, I was hoping it was going to be next to his Scorpion. Right. Okay, I have to switch more to air units. Again, save up for iron cannon, which is kind of like the, the thing that this deck does. Right, I'm going to wait until um, uh, I want to wait until uh, the missile's almost fired which is now <sighs> not gonna get there uh, unlucky uh, well okay so we won four lost one uh, artillery was obviously really bad for us because we don't have any air units that uh, attack ground vehicles really so but you're not going to come across artillery very much on ladder that's a very rare occurrence okay so try the deck out yourself uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below uh, if you did enjoy the video please uh, consider liking and subscribing to the channel and I'll see you next time.